Oh. All right, back to the book. All right, no, 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 no. Get him to kick it again. Why? Because I'm thinking of videoing you. All right, you kick my book one more time, but then no more disrespecting the marketing book. <laughs> do it. There you go. Oh. Did he actually do it? Hey, he just kicked it. You didn't see that? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. You gotta do it again. Watch. Here he goes. Here he goes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I hate this book, Dad. I want to read a better book. I want to watch TV. And play I want to watch TV and play games. I have an Elmo book I was reading to him yesterday. Nah, he needs that. to read. He needs to read Selling the Invisible. He needs Field to hear that. To he needs marketing. to see Elmo though. Yeah, you can see you can see Elmo later when it's all fun and games. But right now it's all serious and business. Ready? Here we go. Service quality is sunk so low that if no one complains about your service, you don't, you shouldn't feel good. Most people have given up complaining. Why has service gotten so bad? It's partly because companies cannot show precisely that investing more in improving service, weather and training, salaries, or increased staffing will earn